It's bar graph time in Tennessee. And look at that, it's our very first practice tool. So I'm gonna take my finger, tap on bar graph. And you'll notice right away, you've gotta be a little bit patient for the page to load up, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll down, look at everything on my page. Here's my bars down here at the bottom. All right, and then I've got some directions. And I also notice sometimes when I scroll, I get this weird gray box. And um, to get rid of it, all you have to do is take your finger and tap somewhere else. So if you get that gray box, just tap somewhere else on the iPad, like I usually tap over in the blank white space, and it'll get rid of that gray box for you. Okay, so let's see. It says click bar A and drag it to 8. So I see this little tiny rectangle with two lines in it. Oh, there's my gray box. Got to click over here again. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to pull up to number eight. Okay. If I hold that again, I can pull it all the way up to number 10. I can pull it down to number seven, but the direction said number eight. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Again, you've got this nice undo button. So if you undo, it erases what you did last but I'm going to keep it on number eight. When I'm dragging this up, when I'm dragging this up, I'm not letting go. I'm leaving my finger um, on the bar. So I believe bar B was supposed to be two. Yep, looking up at my directions. And then bar C, oh, there it goes again. Just click off of it. Bar C and drag it to six. So that's how you do a bar graph. Again, you've got the reset button. If you would like to reset your answer, I'm going to cancel out because I'm happy with my answer. So that's how you do a bar graph.